Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Now we're back to vinyl for this week and what I'm going to be showing you today is my collection of Apple singles. However, this is not the Beatles Apple singles nor is it Beatles solo Apple singles but it's my collection of uh, singles on the Apple label by other artists including Badfinger, Mary Hopkin, Jackie Lomax and lots and lots of other different obscure tracks and artists. So, so, some of these are a little more rare than others but I'll just kind of talk you through the ones I've got and I'll, I'll tell you which songs form the gaps in my collection. Now, although I'm not an expert on the Apple label, I know the basic framework of how they were released so each single was given its own unique catalogue number. I'll show you the first one just as a as an example. So this is Apple 2 and the following single would be Apple 3 and it just kept going up like that. Uh, however, the very, very first single release on Apple label was the Beatles' Hey Jude and Revolution. And that didn't actually carry a specific Apple catalogue number. That just had the R5722 catalogue number. And I believe that that was something to do with the fact that there was still technically licensed to Parlophone, even though, or to EMI, sorry, even though um, they, were, they were still using the Apple label, which is why it had that catalogue number on. But anyway, the Apple one was Frank Sinatra's The Lady is a Champ, but beautiful. And Apple two is this single here. It's Mary Hopkin, Those Were the Days, which I believe was number one in 1968. And like the Beatles singles, it has the sold in the UK text on the centre of the label there. And the B side is Turn, Turn, Turn. And what's interesting about both these tracks is that they were produced by Paul McCartney. And this has a, a KT tax code on the B side. And here's an example of the Apple sleeve there, just the same as the Beatles ones. So, Apple 3 is Jackie Lomax, Sour Milk C. This one's slightly harder to get. And that's actually written by George Harrison and produced also by George Harrison. And this also came out in 1968. And the B side is uh, called The Eagle Laughs at You. And that was actually written by Jackie Lomax, although produced by George Harrison. And as you can see there, this is Apple number three. And the next one I've got is... Thingamabob. Which is an unusual title for a song. And that's by John Foster and Sons Limited, the Black, the Black Dyke Mills Band. Quite difficult to see the, the band's name there, but anyway, there it is, and that's this was also produced by Paul McCartney, who did a lot of the production on the early Apple singles. This is Apple number four, and the B side is a version of Yellow Submarine, and the single came out in 1968, hence the KJT tax code on the back there, which was only used on records dating from 1968. And here we have Apple number 5 by a band called The Ivies. Now, in actual fact, The Ivies would become Badfinger, which has changed the name in 1969, but here in 1968 they are still called The Ivies. And this is their single, Maybe Tomorrow. And here's the B-side called And Her Daddy's a Millionaire. I'm not too familiar with all of these Apple singles. I've, I've only heard some of them once or twice. But there's some pretty obscure stuff anyway. Now I'll just quickly fill in the gaps for the singles I haven't got. Apple 6 was by Trash. And it was called Road to Nowhere. Apple 7 was by Mary Hopkin. And is called... And I'm probably not pronouncing this right. 
Lontano Dadley Oki. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Uh, Apple 8 was by Brute Force, and it's King of Fu. I believe that's how it said. Uh, Apple 9 is Mary Hopkin, Prince N. Avignon. And here we've got Apple 10, which is another Mary Hopkins single. And it's... I'll just take it out of its cover, actually. It's called Goodbye. And this is a solid centre. And it's come out in 1969. So here's Apple 10, as you can see there. And the B-side is called Sparrow. And like the other Mary Hopkin ones, that single was produced by Paul McCartney. And Apple number 11 was released again by Jackie Lomax. And this single was called New Day. Written by Jackie Lomax himself. And it came out in 69. And this would have been one of the last singles to carry the sold in the UK text. Because from 1969... Um, EMI decided not to print that on the labels anymore. And the B-side is called Fall Inside Your Eyes, which was produced by George Harrison. Now the next single is one I'm more familiar with, and it actually comes with a picture cover. And it's a single by Billy Preston called That's The Way God Planned It, which is a, a good song. I like this one. And... As you can see, the picture sleeve really has faded because this would have been white at one point, but obviously it's it's more of a brown now. But it's it's still structurally intact, and it's backed with "What About You." And this is Apple Twelve, as it states in the top left corner of the of the picture sleeve. And here's the vinyl. So as you can see, it came out in 1969, but no sold in the UK text. Again, George Harrison acted as the producer for both sides of this record. And both songs were written by Billy Preston. And the next single is Apple 13, and that would be uh, the Plastic Ornal Band, or John Lennon basically. Give Peace a Chance, which of course I do have a copy of, but I'll just save that for when I do my updated John Lennon collection, rather than put it in this video. Because as, as I said, I'm just doing the, the miscellaneous Apple artists. And Apple 14 would be the Ivies, Dear Angie. And this is Apple 15 here. It's by the Radha Krishna Temple from in London. And it's the Hare Krishna Mantra. So here's the picture sleeve, which is nice and colourful. This is Apple 15 here. And there's the back. It's in very good shape, this one, actually. Now, this isn't one I really listen to very often but nice to have anyway and it's definitely no surprise that George Harrison produced this one because this was very much the sort of thing he was into in 1969 and this here is just a, a copy of that same single without the picture cover so that there's nothing different there and I don't have Apple 16, but that single is Mary Hopkin. Again, it's a it's a foreign title. Uh, I don't know if it's Que Sarah Sarah or Cus Sarah Sarah. I, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, but I'll I'll leave a link to the, I'll leave a link in the description to the list that I'm looking at, so you can have a look at all these different titles for yourself. But anyway, Apple 17, I would say it's probably one of the more interesting ones, and it's a cover by Trash of Golden Slumber and Carry That Weight from the Abbey Road album and I rather like their version actually and here it is, Apple 17 it's interesting to note that obviously Golden Slumber's Carry That Weight was only released by the Beatles in 1969 so to have a cover of it the same year just goes to show the immediate impact that their music had and it's backed with Trash Can which is an original composition and both sides are produced by Tony Meehan. Now, I might be wrong, but I don't know if he was a, a member of the Shadows or not. I'd, I'd have to look that one up. But it's it just the name sounds familiar. 
Now, Apple 18, I don't actually have, and it's a, it's a very rare one, and I've seen copies of it go for about £70, and it's a cover of Give Peace a Chance by the Hot Chocolate Band. And yes, that is the same Hot Chocolate who had hits in the 70s with Emmeline and You Sexy Thing, all of those. So it's interesting that their first single was actually on the Apple label. And Apple 19, I do have, and that's Billy Preston's single, Everything's Alright. George Harrison once again has the, has the credit for the producer. Next, Apple 20 is Badfinger, come and get this. This is a, a much more famous song. And one of my favourites as well. And backed with Rock of All Ages. So here's the label for this one. Still in 1969 here. And this is actually written by Paul McCartney. And I've heard a, 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 a demo of this by, by Paul McCartney, sorry, uh, once on YouTube somewhere, I think. Which was interesting. And Apple 21 here is another Billy Preston one. All that I've got, I'm going to give it to you in a picture cover here. And it's backed with As I Get Older. And this was a very recent purchase, actually. Unfortunately, the label's not brilliant on this copy. However, I do actually have a copy without the picture cover, which has a much nicer label, so I'll show you that instead. It's got the Play Loud written on the, on the Apple label, just like the Instant Karma single did. And this one came out in 1970, and George Martin produced the A-side, and interestingly, Ray Charles produced the B-side. And Apple 22 is a nice picture cover with the Mary Hopkins single, Temma Harbour. And I've got no idea how you pronounce the B-side, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But here it is anyway. And this one's retained its whiteness quite well. There's the back. Now this single was produced by Mickey Most, who was a 60s writer and producer. I know he wrote a few songs like Herman's Hermits and stuff like that. And there's the B-side. And Apple 23 is yet another single by Jackie Lomax. And it's entitled How the Web Has Woven. So how the web was woven. George Harrison again. He did a lot of the production on the Apple singles, as did Paul McCartney, who was credited for the B-side. Now, Apple 24 was by Doris Troy, and the song was Ain't That Cute. And Apple 25 is this one here. It's the Radha Krishna Temple again from London, and the song is called Govinda. So here's a picture cover. Once again, a very nice colourful one. And there's the back, which is in nice shape. And there's the um, the words if you'd like to, to to sing along, or whatever with the uh, <laughs> with the single. But it's got the translation down there, so. You know what it says. And here's the label for Apple 25. And Apple 26 is Mary Hopkin, A Song for Europe, which was Britain's entry to the Eurovision Song Contest for that year. Uh, 1970 I believe and it comes in a very nice picture cover 
same design on both sides and here's the label Now apparently Apple 27 was Mary Hopkin uh, Cursera Sarah again, which was an earlier Apple single, so I don't know if it was reissued or something. Uh, but anyway, Apple 28 was Doris Troy, Jacob's Ladder was the name of the song. Apple 29 is uh, Billy Preston, My Sweet Lord, and uh, I'm sure that's a song we're all familiar with. And then number 30 is... Think of think about your children by Mary Hopkin once again. Also comes in a picture sleeve, and there's the, the lyrics for both sides on the back. It's nice that they did so many picture covers around this time. And there is the single. on the B-side and here is Apple 31 another one by Badfinger and it's called No Matter What we're still in 1970 so there was lots of Apple singles released then and Better Days is the B-side and Apple 32 was James Taylor, Carolina in my mind, and Apple 20, sorry, Apple 33 was by Ronnie Spector, and the name of the song was Try Some, Buy Some, and Apple 34 was Mary Hopkin, Let My Name Be Sorrow, Apple 35 was Bad Finger, Name of the Game, Apple 36 was Bill Elliott and the Elastic Oz Band, God Save Us. Apple 37 was Ravi Shankar, Joy Bangla. And here is Apple 38 by Yoko Ono, and it's called Mrs. Lennon. I suppose you could say this is kind of Beatles from there, but oh well. It's not a chip in here anyway. And as far as her stuff goes, it's actually all right. It's it, it's it's listenable. I mean, it's it's not exactly a Beatles track or anything, but you know. Interesting that it's on a white Apple label as well, or grey Apple label. And Apple Thirty Nine is Mary Hopkin, Water, Paper, and Clear. And here is Apple Forty which is by Badfinger and is called Day After Day and I'll just take it out of the sleeve here it is 1972 here Sweet Tuesday Morning is the B-side now Apple 41 is Yoko Ono, Mind Train. Apple 42 is Badfinger, Baby Blue. Apple 43 is Chris Hodge, We're On Our Way. Apple 44 is The Sundown Playboys, Saturday Night Special. And here's uh, Apple 45 by The Elephant's Memory Band and it's called Power Boogie. And this is the last one I've got to show for this video. So here it is. 1972 again, Apple 45, and interestingly this is one of the singles which has the full Apple on both sides, and Liberation Special is the B-side. And uh, just as a little bonus, I've also got this original Apple EP, and it's got songs by Mary Hopkin, Jackie Lomax, James Taylor and the Ivies. Now what's interesting is that this was actually a promotional item, or sorry, an exclusive item by the Walls Ice Cream brand, which is still around today, very famous brand. But anyway, they released this, e this EP for you to get. I, 
I think you had to collect a certain number of tokens or something like that to send away for the CP. But it's a nice obscure little item. Got some info on the back there. And here's the label. It's so weird seeing an Apple EP actually. Because Apple really didn't do many EPs. That was 1969 that came out. And on the back there, there's the other two songs. And what's interesting here is that uh, one track produced by Peter Asher and another track's produced by Mal Evans. And um, I've certainly not seen many tracks produced by Mal Evans, so that's an interesting one. One thing I should actually add um, just before ending this video. A lot of the Apple singles, or at least some of the Apple singles that I didn't have, but I mentioned the names of them. Um, quite a few of those were not never actually released. They, they would often have an acetate made of them, and they'd be scheduled or planned for release, but then they'd be cancelled uh, due to one set of circumstances or another. For instance, Apple 14 is an example of that, uh, Dear Angie by the Ivies. That only reached the stage of being an acetate and wasn't actually released properly. Uh, so it's it's interesting really And I'll just quickly fill in the last couple of gaps Apple 46 was by Lon and Derek Van Eaton Warm Woman Apple 47 was by Yoko Ono And it's called Death of Samantha Apple 48 was Yoko Ono Run 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 Apple 49 was Bad Finger Apple of My Eye and although there were subsequent Apple singles released, none of them were called Apple 50. So that was the last of the numbered Apple singles. Alright, so that concludes this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing these. As I said, there are some obscure singles in there, but I still like to collect the Beatles-related vinyl as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.